Hello, and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Breast Implants Are Making People Very Sick. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. I would also like to tell you about a service called hollywoodiscalling.com. It's a great service that allows you to purchase live phone calls from your favorite celebrities, so check it out. It's something you can buy for yourself or as a gift for somebody you care about. There are more than 100 celebrities to choose from with calls starting at just $19.95. Give it a try. Hollywoodiscalling.com. Now, let's get started. A nationally known plastic surgeon with 17 years experience and more than 4 million uh, followers on TikTok has admitted publicly that breast implants can make you very sick. Now, for years, he was told that that's not true by the profession, the medical profession, but now he believes that people can definitely get sick. Now, I, I don't know why this is such a stunning revelation. For decades, people have known about this informally and formally. You know, I don't know how many people I've spoken to who have gotten the implants put in and then down the road, two years, five years, seven years, they get them surgically removed. Sometimes it's because of, a, of an infection. Sometimes it's because of pain and, 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 or, or, or some other discomfort. There's always a reason but oftentimes they get them removed. And miraculously, a lot of the problems go away once they're removed. Go figure. Now, uh, he says that the symptoms can appear within months of getting the implants, and they can include pain, inflammation, skin rashes, hair loss, brain fog, joint aches, digestive issues, and fatigue. You know, some of the, uh, the issues that I've seen can be quite horrific. Sometimes the infections can be so, uh, so massive in scope that it affects the rest of the torso and other parts of the body. I've seen cases where the silicone leaks out of the implant, migrates throughout the rest of the body and embeds itself in your, in your body in, in places that cannot be surgically addressed, let alone removed. That's a massive, massive problem. What happens then? You have uh, lifelong inflammation, lifelong illnesses, lifelong pain. It, it turns into a nightmare for some people. Now, uh, he claims, this doctor claims that the industry does not agree with him. And he claims the industry says uh, that there are no studies to confirm any of this. Um, so, why is this such a major revelation now? Well, lots of patients are getting their implants surgically removed. And uh, the breast augmentation industry is enormous in the United States, and it is even larger offshore. Uh, why is it so big offshore? Well, there are two reasons. One is cultural. Places like Brazil uh, have a cultural predisposition to getting these kinds of augmentations, not just breasts, but the rest of the body as well. Um, the other issue in uh, countries offshore is that they will often do procedures that US doctors consider to be too dangerous. Years ago, there used to be a breast augmentation procedure called the string procedure. This is where they would insert this string-like material into the breasts uh, for women, and they would increase or augment the size of their breasts to gigantic proportions. Um, now, after a while, uh, uh, the, the doctors stopped performing the procedure in the United States for, for health reasons, but offshore, you could still get this done. A lot of porn stars had it done in the 80s and 90s, and if you see photos or video of them, it, it looks like a freak show. Uh, it, it looks... It looks like, um, I, don't, I don't even want to describe what it looks like because it looks beyond bizarre. Uh, but, uh, but they would go offshore and they would get these procedures done, you know, and, and they would do it for financial reasons. You know, a, a porn star who would go on the road 
and 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 make public appearances. You know, with normal breasts, could make a hundred thousand a year. A porn star who had this string procedure done and who would get these giant breasts could easily do seven figures a year back then. Um, so the financial incentive was unbelievable and they were willing to risk, risk the health consequences and get this procedure done. After all, you only need to, you know, to do this for a few years to, to set aside enough money to, to retire on. Now, a lot of these women rarely set aside any money. They were too busy having fun and doing whatever they do. But, uh, but if they had set aside and saved their money, you know, they could uh, retire financially independent after just four or five years. Now, the problem is uh, that this procedure, these implants, this augmentation is great for business uh, because the clinics and the doctors, they get to operate twice on each patient. Once when they do the augmentation and the second time when they come back five or six years to have them removed. It's a gold mine. Um, another problem with the implants is that uh, for some people, they can be addictive. There are numerous reality shows on cable now which, uh, which feature people who've had augmentation or want to get augmentation done. And they regularly fe feature patients who are coming back to the doctor who, who want to get larger implants because the last large set of implants uh, they got uh, they no longer feel are substantial enough. They want to take things to some insane new level. And what's interesting is, is how few doctors in the U.S. will discourage them because it's enormously profitable. So they'll agree to whatever crazy new size request the, uh, uh, the patient will make. Offshore, it's even worse. Offshore, you know, from what I hear, the doctors are so desperate for foreign, for wealthy foreign patients that they'll agree to just about any crazy demand. As long as you sign that medical release, they'll do the operation. Oh, and also assuming that your money clears their bank account, they'll do the operation. Um, now it doesn't, none of this nonsense stops with breast implants. The entire body augmentation industry has now grown to be an enormous part of the economy. You can augment many parts of your body and then if you're not happy, you can always come back for another procedure on another body part. Very few doctors in the U.S. will say no, and even fewer doctors outside of the countries will, will say no to a wealthy customer. There have been celebrities whose relatives uh, tried to get, uh, you know, excessive augmentation done in the U.S., and American doctors have said no, and then they go elsewhere uh, around the globe. They'll find a doctor who'll say yes, and in one case, a celebrity's mother passed away on the operating table from the shock of having had so much work done in one procedure. So, uh, you know, I, I just recommend that you get multiple opinions, you know, get the advice of experts that you respect, uh, look into it because the consequences can be very, very draconian if the procedure goes badly. Uh, it, can, it can destroy your life and has in many cases. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to tell you that we're going to have more great celebrity interviews uh, and more breaking news stories coming up in the future. So we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free and to click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time we post a new story. Once again, thank you for watching and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.